Hello, Mohi family. We thank God so much for this great opportunity to celebrate the doing of the Lord. As we reflect on 2020, the year that has been, despite of the many challenges that have come with the year, we have uh, a lot to celebrate because God has enabled us to achieve great things. And all because of your hard work and your passion in serving God and serving His people. In September of this year, we were able to celebrate our 20th anniversary. It has been a great 20 years of God's faithfulness, 20 years of great ministry among the most disadvantaged communities in this country. It has been 20 years of exponential growth and great victory. And so we have a reason to celebrate and that is why even today we are celebrating God's faithfulness. We will celebrate together even as we look at the milestones and uh, we will rejoice and give thanks to God. Despite the challenges of the COVID pandemic, we have kept growing and thriving as missions of hope. We thank God because the number of children being educated through missions of hope are now over 18,000. We have many schools, both in urban and rural communities. We currently are working in 25 different locations. And this coming year, we are adding new locations, specifically in Masabet and Kilifi and hopefully in Kuala County. And we thank God because also some of our schools that did not have buildings are now going to have buildings. Some constructions have also been going on and we thank God for that. Technology-wise, we have been able to get a few schools with computer labs and uh, of course, because of COVID, we actually learned how to do long distance learning, even with our children. It was amazing to see how our teachers became very creative. Our head teachers worked very hard and they made sure that even if the students were not able to come to our schools, they still continued learning. God bless you so much, our teachers and even the social workers who worked so hard to make sure that all the children and the parents were participating in the distance learning. We thank God so much because earlier in the year, we actually were able to launch a brand new school at Kolamdio in Molo. And uh, we thank God for that. And I know that God will continue to expand that school. And uh, just so you know, right before the president announced the first case of COVID-19 here in Kenya, we were able to go to Kilifi to break the ground for our new school in Kibarani, which uh, now the construction is going on. We were also able to break the ground for the Agaza camp. The Agaza camp is the newest most exciting thing that is going to happen in Mohi. And we are so excited because God provided land for us in Kilifi, 11 acres, and we are going to develop this camp. This is a camp where our students in grade six as well as grade 10 will each go uh, for one week during the year and they'll be able to go through some discipleship program, learning more about God and also about creation care. So I want to request all of you, Mohi family, to keep praying about this camp that God will bring it to be and it will be developed and it will be set up so that come September of 2021, we'll be able to have our first students go and visit that camp and be transformed. Despite the economic hardships, our microfinance program and the sustainability initiatives continue to grow and uh, our skills training program as well continue to take in students and uh, empower them with skills and they graduated and uh, we know that some of them have gone on to get uh, jobs and others have been able to start uh, their own businesses. We also used our resources and our talented staff to help make the much needed uh, masks during this uh, pandemic for our parents and for our students. Throughout this season, despite the pandemic and its challenges, we continued to treat patients 
in all our clinics and we have expanded our clinics abilities through new equipment to serve our communities and even as our students come back in January they are going to find us ready and so there is a reason to thank God because that has helped us to really just improve. Throughout the year 2020 we have been able to share the love of Jesus. We have also been able to distribute over 40,000 food baskets to more than 15,000 families that live in our communities. And during these times of distributing food baskets, we were also able to witness to these people. We were able to provide our prayers for them as well as counseling for them. And as we witnessed to them and prayed with them, over 470 people gave their lives to Jesus. They got connected to local churches. And all this is because of your hard work and your unity and your willingness to be used of God in spite of the challenging times. And one thing that I also thank God for is that we were able to join our partners, Crossroads Christian Church, for the annual women conference and we were so blessed we were able to do a study together as women that are serving in missions of hope and we thank God for the many many testimonies of transformation that we have been able to share and uh, be able to uh, to get out of this conference and the Bible study that we have been able to have together. A quick update regarding the current MOHI and CMF transition. Over the past years, God has blessed both MOHI and CMF with extraordinary growth and vision. And as we have been praying about our future, we realized the best way for both ministries to grow is to transfer MOHI's U.S. operations to an independent and dedicated team. This means MOHI related services and operations that were once facilitated by CMF will transfer to a dedicated team of MOHI staff operating from an office in Phoenix, Arizona. Dear ones, as the year comes to an end, we have every reason just to thank God so much. What a joy it is to serve God together and in partnership with Him in serving the most vulnerable people in this country. And as we look forward to the years ahead, uh, it is uh, good to know that God is together with us and he would want us to replicate in many more communities the model that he has entrusted unto us, a model that is impacting on the lives of children, families, and communities. And uh, it is important for us to prepare ourselves and to set ourselves in our hearts and to have the right attitude because God is making it very, very clear that he wants us to go to many more communities in Kenya and beyond Kenya. And we are believing God for the next 10 years that uh, we should be able to have 100,000 children sponsored and attending in our schools and to be able to plant a hundred more churches, a hundred more schools and to go beyond the boundaries of this country. This is exciting and one of the things that I want to assure you is that God is with us. Mm -hmm.